Hello there, my name's Spiro with another golden sample of the week here for you. This time what we're going to do is we're going to talk about VCAS's API. API is what you can use in order to create a connection between other systems and VKS. These systems can really be anything and that's what this diagram shows you here is you may have databases, you might have ERP systems, you might have learning systems or quality systems or whatever. Insert your acronym here, right? QMS, LMS, MES, ERP, insert your acronym here. You're gonna have uh, some different systems and you want them to be able to talk. And that is where this connection comes into place. You can develop a connection or a connector in order to talk and push and pull information from all these different systems. Load things in from your ERP system into VKS, load information from VKS up to a training system or load quality and customized dashboards in order to show different things as well. Okay, so why connect all your systems together? There's a lot of different benefits. One of them, first and foremost, is the automation process. So instead of having me go through and create Excel spreadsheets, create databases, clicking buttons, going through things and exporting, importing, pushing and pulling information, and I am that connector, I am that connection, then you can have it automated. What if I'm not there that day? What if I get sick? What if I leave? You're gonna have to have somebody else come in and do the tasks that I've been doing, right? So automation is gonna be very important because it's gonna automatically be done for you and you can make minor adjustments in order to get the exact data that you want. Training is important too. So if you have a learning system, a training matrix, anything like that, you can push and pull information. You can load into VKS who's been trained on specific jobs and then you can Get, provide access to those personnel or block them from doing things. In addition to that, you could do training within VCAS and then send that information back to a learning management system. And then your customized dashboards, right? So if you have torque data, first pass yield, quality information, anything you want, you could send that stuff to a customized dashboard and show the metrics that you want to all throughout this API. A little bit of general information on the API itself. We have a one-way or bi-directional communication, so you can push and pull information in and out of VKS. It can be programmed in multiple languages, just like anything, so if you have a language of choice, C Sharp, Java, PHP, you can program it in different languages. It's fully documented, and you can transfer any data that you want. You can load in work order information, bill of material from your ERP. You can push quality data back. Anything that's in the system, you can do things with. Okay, so next is to go into VCAS and go into this plan job section in VCAS. And what I'm trying to simulate for you here is the ability to load jobs into VCAS and kind of use this as an execution system, an MES. What you're gonna see is that we have our loaded work orders in here, and these are things that I loaded in using our test client, but I'm just gonna simulate pulling them in from an ERP system and we have our work orders, we have our instructions, we have our work centers, and in addition to that, we have an order of operations. So if I search for, I don't know, let's say this, this top one here, right, this top work order, then we're gonna see the different jobs that need to take place based off of this work order and the different operations, right? So we've got order of operations, what are we supposed to do first, second, third? We can filter by work center, we can filter by the specific work order number or different things. The operator can use this in order to launch a job as well. So operator can find the specific job they're supposed to be doing, they can click this launch button, and then that will open up that specific job. Once that job is open, then we're gonna be able to go through and perform our work, right? So we're gonna see our work order number tracking, we're gonna see our time tracking. We could also have bill of material stuff in here, so we could load bill of material in in order to have that as well when we're creating the operations in VCAS. Everything at the operator's fingertips, right? Bill of material, work order information, time data, any attachments or links, things like that. Go through our process and we're going to be collecting data. We're gonna be scanning in our serial numbers, we're gonna be collecting our cosmetic criteria or our quality inspections, and this is the stuff that we're gonna record, but we can also, let me just type some stuff in here. Uh, not a little apostrophe, let's not do that. So this is also stuff that we're gonna record and we wanna use later on. Could be stuff from a, a quality database that we want to send to, could be pushing information back to an ERP. Then, once you go through and you perform the tasks, the operator's doing the job, we're always going to have that information saved and stored in VKS, and this is just a previous report that I have here. But you're always going to have the information saved and stored in VKS in your reporting side of things, but then you can also automatically extract that information out. 
You can take that information, you could send it to an ERP system. You can send it to another database. You could even send it to an Excel sheet and have it read through an Excel sheet if you want to. And this is just one example of something that you can do using the API in order to extract the information out, have it in an Excel sheet, and then see all your different values and all of your information right here. And then you can parse that data, you can analyze it, you can process it, you can do anything you want to with it. I say thank you very much for checking out this quick video on the API. If you want to learn more about it, please let us know. And thank you very much and look forward to some more cool content from us.